In this video, I'm showing you how to find the answers to the GarageBand iPhone and iPad questions that you have. But if it's your first time here, you might be asking, who is this and what am I watching? My name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that through tips and tricks and tutorials and live stream videos. And now are my brand new FAQ page over on Studio Live today. So we'll be talking about that here today, but I know many folks like to just get to the chase. So I'm going to throw it right out here right now. Here is the link to go to. It is studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand. And that is where you can find my brand new, just released uh, GarageBand iOS FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. And I'll be showing you what it looks like and how to use it. But let's be honest, it's pretty self-explanatory. It is a question, an answer, and then some video link. So I get this question quite a bit, people saying, Pete, you've got over, well, I don't say how many, but but I know, you've got over 900 videos on your channel and more than half of them are about GarageBand. How do I find the thing that I want? Like there's too much stuff there. And I said, yep, fair deal. That is 100% fair. So I've been working for about the last sort of two weeks to pull together all of the most common questions that I get, all of the answers to those questions. <laughs> so that if you just want the answer, you can go to the webpage and find out where to go if you just need that quick tip. And then if you need that little bit more in-depth knowledge, then it'll have links to my videos there as well. So let's stop talking about it and start showing it. If you want to play along at home, you can go to studiolivetoday.com slash garageband. It should work on any of your browsers on your uh, Android. Why would you be on Android? Maybe you've got an Android phone and you're using your iPad. You could totally do that. Uh, Android, iOS uh, browsers, Safari, Chrome, Firefox, you name it. But we're going to test it. I've got it up, first of all, I've got it up here on my iPad because why not? That's uh, that's what a lot of folks will be using. So let's throw that up here on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Throw it up on the screen there. Uh, this is what it looks like. Yes, there's my goofy photos at the top there of me pointing at my iPhone and playing my guitar. Uh, but here it is. It's at, uh, you can see it's at the GarageBand iOS FAQ up the top there. You can go straight to it uh, from the main page, or you can just go to uh, studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand, which is the link you're seeing down there at the bottom. And because I'm here on my iPad, I can zoom on in because we've got cool zooming capabilities and show you what this looks like here at the very top here. Uh, for folks who are just starting out with GarageBand, I've got links into some of my videos there, my what is GarageBand video that you can link straight to there, how to start your first project, setting up a song, and then the two playlists there. One is my GarageBand Quick Jams, which is the two to five minute tutorials where I just go, here's how to use the keyboard, press this, do this, do this, do this. They're quick, they're quick fire, they're fast, and they'll give you all the information you need. And the next one here is the GarageBand iOS Essentials, which is a brand new playlist of 20 videos I've just put together that is what I consider the kind of must know things. So yes, it's like a few hours worth of training in there. But again, if you're starting out or if you're like, okay, I'm getting my head around this garage band stuff. Maybe you've watched the quick jams. Maybe you've watched the what is video. Then that essentials playlist will talk to you about EQ. It'll tell you how to use compression. It'll tell you how to use the basic instruments, do some basic mixing, basic mastering, all of the stuff that is going to get you creating fast. Because that's the number one goal of this is I wanted a one-stop shop where you can just go and any question you've got, you can get it answered and get back to creating. The most frustrating thing when you're creating and you're trying to find out how to do something is spending any time trying to find the answer. So I wanted the answers to be completely obvious and right here. So as we continue on through here, we've then got our alphabetical list. And as I say at the top there, uh, the questions are in alphabetical order uh, by topic. And you can use uh, Control or Command F in your browser to search this page. Or if you're using something like Safari here, you can use, I've, I've, see, I, I usually use Chrome and I'm in Safari here. I've actually forgotten what you do. Someone's going to be able to help me out here in the live chat. Do you tap and hold? Yeah, you do, don't you? Look up, tap and hold, look up. No, that's not right. <laughs> I'll show, I'll show it for you on the uh, on the desktop browser, and maybe I'll uh, I'll add to this what you need to do on a mobile browser to bring up the find window. It's just it, it's sort of in full screen mode here, so I can't actually see that. I know, right? When you're watching a live uh, live video, the good news is that sometimes it is uh, sometimes it's so slick, and sometimes it can be kind of train wrecky. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that was a small piece of a train wreck. No, that was a that wasn't a train wreck. That was just a uh, that was someone got a bad uh, cup of coffee on a train. So it's not the 
anyway, we're getting off track. So yes, through here, we have all of the different things and you can see we're only at A and we're already a pretty far way down. So you can come through and you can uh, select the links there that are going to take you into the videos and that will open straight up into uh, into uh, YouTube. In fact, why don't I show you? So here's EQ. So if you're new and you're like, oh, how do I use EQ? How do I actually EQ in GarageBand? If we come in and we tap on that one, it is going to pop you straight over to YouTube and there it is. It's going to bring you straight into that how to EQ in GarageBand video. The good news is it's going to keep on the other tab. It's going to keep you here on the page. So if you want to then come back and find some other things. So you've done that and you're like, okay, now I actually want to learn about compression. You can come back to compression, tap on the compression video, and that one is going to open in a second tab and you can start watching and learning all about compression. You've got your EQ there and you've got the tab there as well. So that is the basics of the page. But here's the good news. It is a work in progress, and I'm not just putting it out there and leaving it because things change, and there are more questions that people are going to have over time that I'm going to need to add in here. So my goal, uh, sorry, my, my request from you is if you're using this page and you have ideas for things that should be added to it, then please let me know. If you have ideas, uh, if there's anything that doesn't work or an incorrect link, because there's about... 200 links on here so chances are at least one or two of them are the wrong thing then let me know and the way you can let me know is by emailing me pete at studiolivetoday.com just put garageband faq in the subject line and then let me know what you need so let me know the question that you would like answered or let me know anything that is not working and we will get this thing up and running i, I wanted to get it out there i was i was thinking about do I, do I test this? Do I get a small group of user tests? Do I, how do I actually manage this? And then I went, no, nah, let's go out there. Minimum viable product. That's what it's all about these days. So I wanted to get this launched and released and it is now out there ready to be used. So if you would like to check it out, all you need to do is go over to studiolivetoday.com slash garage band and you will find it there. Let's just show you really quickly what the desktop version looks like. Very similar. It looks like this. We've just got a few more options here with the archives down the side, but the same sort of thing. We can come through here. We've got all of those initial questions that'll go there, and then we can go straight to the videos. And if we click one of these links, so we want to go to the GarageBand iOS Essentials playlist, we click on that one, and it will drop us straight in here. And here you go. <laughs> Number one is how to find tutorials. So how to use the search function on Studio Live today. And then as you see, you've got mixing, setting up audio interfaces, that current bug we have with save to files. You've got mastering, you've got mixing mixing, you got using the touch guitar. So all of the things that you're going to need to get up and running. And if you are wanting to share the love of GarageBand, why not share this video and this link with other people who are getting into GarageBand as well? Because what I'm hoping is this will be not only great for people already using GarageBand, but it should be a good tool for people who are starting out with GarageBand because there are plenty of people that are still just getting, you know, they're just of age where they can start getting their own iPhone or iPad, or they are, are getting back into it. A lot of folks email me and say, Pete, I used to create music. I'm now 45. I'm now 55, 65, 75. I want to get back into music. And is GarageBand going to help me out? And my answer has been yes. And then they say, where do I start? Well, now I can say, here's where you start. You go to studiolivetoday.com slash GarageBand, and you'll be able to check out everything there. So Thank you. I hope you get some value out of this one. If you have any feedback, if you have comments, if you have questions, if you have suggestions, as well as reaching me at pete at studiolivetoday.com, you can drop comments down in the comments of this video. If you got some value out of this one, if you're excited to check out the FAQ, if you think it's going to add value to you, hit the like button on this video. That just tells me that you like this sort of content and you like these sort of live shows. If you're watching live or if you're watching on the replay, thank you so much for being here and I will catch you on the next video. Keep creating.